हेलो एवरीवन वन ट्रो वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मेरा नमस्ते आप सभी को हर इज डूइंग आई एम डूंग फैंटेस्टिक एज ऑलवेज एंड टुडे आई एम हियर अगेन ऑन योर स्क्रीन विद द बुक रिव्यू सो बिफोर आई प्रोसीड विद द रिव्यू आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस माय इमेंस ग्रेटिट्यूड टू योर फ्रेंड ऑफ माई हु रिकमेंडेड मी दिस बुक टू रिव्यू ऑन आई एम रियली ग्रेटफुल टू हर बिकॉज आई वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस टू अ कम्प्लीटली न्यू सब्जेक्ट दैट इज गॉथिक सस्पेंस which i was never introduced to before yeah and the book which i'm going to talk about today is rebecca written by daphne du morier so without wasting any time let's get started with the video rebecca was written in 1938 and it has been more than 80 years now but still people love this novel and before i deep dive into this book let me talk about the person behind this book let me give you a little brief about her background about daphne du Morier Daphne du Morier first and foremost was a really an excellent storyteller and apart from that she belonged to a remarkable du Morier dynasty her grandfather was a brilliant artist and a writer her father was the most famous actor manager and matinee idol of his time her mother was also an actress on top of that she was married to a military family as you can see she had an amazing and an affluent background but still daphne is often thought of as reclusive she was perhaps solitary she was comfortable with her own company and make believe world which she lived in which enabled her to bring us her amazingly written novels and short stories she has many novels in her name which are famous The novel which I am going to talk about today is Rebecca. Let's deep dive into this book and see what it has in store for us. So let's get started. Rebecca is a gothic suspense published in 1938. It is widely considered as a classic story. It is a psychological thriller about a young woman who gets obsessed with her husband's first wife the story is evocatively set in the wilds of cornwall a large country house in manderley i don't know i might be wrong in this case but i find something really intriguing in this novel that the author's refusal of naming her heroine the first narrator who is known as the second mrs de winter the novels open with a very famous line last night i dreamt I went to Manderley again. A shy and awkward young woman. She is in Monte Carlo and working for an elderly socialite. When she meets Maximilian de Winter or Maxine de Winter, a wealthy widower whose wife died after a whirlwind of courtship, the young woman and Maxim get married and settled at Manderley. According to Second Mrs. De Winter, Rebecca personifies glamour and gaiety, and she does not think that she can compete against this dead paragon to win Maxim's love. Mrs. Denver, the sinister housekeeper, who specially wounds the narrator by constantly mentioning about how much did Maxim loved and will always love Rebecca. As you guys go along and read this novel the story is being said in flashback Rebecca is the first wife of Maximilian de Winter or Maxine de Winter and there are lot of mystery behind her death i'm not going to spoil those for all of you i'll keep it for you to read it and get to know about it but the way mystery gets unfold in the end was amazing like i really loved the way it ended the few questions which got answered were did rebecca committed suicide did rebecca got murdered if yes who murdered rebecca was it her husband or the sinister housekeeper mrs denver if she was not murdered then what really happened like the way it unfolds is so exciting in the end 
you guys are gonna love it for sure. So guys, now I'd like to share about the things which I liked about the book and disliked about the book. The first thing which I liked about the book was its storyline. The storyline was completely action-packed and was full of mystery. I was literally thrilled to read this book because the way it was built inch by inch leads to an amazing climax. The second thing which I liked about the novel was author's writing that was so descriptive that while I was reading the novel, the images would flood in my mind and I could literally visualize what is happening in the book. The third thing which I liked about the book was the author creates an amazing feeling with her writings that you are being present in the moment. Like you can literally feel what is happening in the novel around you. Let's talk about the thing which I disliked about the book. The story was really slow moving. Like seriously, it can lull you to sleep if you are not a reader. I literally slept one day while I was in the middle of the book. The second thing which I disliked about the book was major events happening in the novel was in the beginning or in the end. In the middle where the major chunks hold was really slow paced like which is very good in building up the suspense but sometimes it could fuel to put this book down and stop reading. So this was about the book from my end. And I feel overall this book is an amazing read because of the climax. The way mystery gets unfold was really exciting and literally had goosebumps. And I was thrilled to bits when I discovered what is the reason behind Rebecca's death. Like what I will do is guys, I will put the link in the description box from where you guys can grab yourself a copy and find out the mystery behind their death. Thank you so much guys for tuning in and watching in my video and if you feel that I was able to add value with this video then do like this video and share it with your friends and family and do comment below and let me know what do you feel about the book and also let me know which book do you want me to review on. I will be more than happy to review on that book. For now I will sign off and we'll see you next week again on Tuesday with a book review. Till then, I hope you guys will have a rocking week ahead. Mera namaste aap sabi ko.